This is a workhorse. This is not a war horse. A war horse is bigger. So if there's any fighting that takes place, they will likely be scared and bolt and send us both flying. So it's like training. You need to like train them to get used to fighting. A w yes. You will train the horses to take commands. And then you'll train them around the men who are training with their weapons and such loud noises. And then, once it looks like they can handle that, you'll train them to have men fighting on their backs. It's an arduous process, but at the end of it, you can have a very well-trained beast that is loyal to the one that has learned to trust. That's why they're so expensive. I get it. Yes. That's really smart, training them where the men are training so they can get used to, like, the combat without it being in combat. It's the same as us practicing. We want to be ready before the time comes. So, we arrive at the Cross Keys Inn, then one. Ask around for this guy, I guess. They might not have seen anything. He was on his way to, uh... The free war of Corocatus, which means he should have been back by now since he rented it four days ago. So. Do we know his name? Uh, started with an O, let me think. Uh, Ortega, that's the one. Ortega. Yeah, I know roughly what he looks like too. Just in case there's a need for a quick getaway. I'm going to park our horse right here and tie him to this wood. <coughs> that way he doesn't wander off. <coughs> if, if things go south... <coughs> you run back here, get on the horse, <coughs> and pray, I guess. I just kind of... Off. Both your legs off to the side and slide right off. It's like a slide. Ooh. Okay, I got it. I got it. Ooh, okay. Good. I've seen what those... They're like big dogs. I've seen what those teeth do to apples. Just crawl. You know? Well, they won't do it to us as long as you're smart. Keep your hand flat. Right. Some... <laughs> I will admit, the muzzles, I find them quite funny. Right. Oh, my fucking leg is dead. That is French, isn't it? I, I would bet my life. It sounds like a French horse. <laughs> it was fucking good. <laughs> I'm watching you. I know that <laughs> anyway. <sighs> right, I'll let you do the majority of the asking. Alright. I'll keep an eye on the people around us. Alright. Hopefully we don't scare them away by looking like hired help. <clears throat> the, the Imperial... Well, the Imperial from the clinic. Yeah, he seemed a little off. They, they, brought, they brought in a car. And they, 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 took, they took Rose and they took a little space. And, and they, they, they worked the doctorly magic, mm. you know, and then they... And they, 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 right. they get out. They, yeah. they get out. Excuse me, sir. I already told you, drunks. I don't have anything for sale. Do I sound drunk? What do you want? I'm uh, looking for a friend of mine. Uh, goes by the name Otego. I don't suppose you've heard of anyone like that? 
Who's asking? Who are you? A friend of his. We're a little concerned. He was supposed to arrive in Nautis a couple of days ago. A friend of his. Yeah. He's, uh, you can't miss him. Got an eye patch, mutton chops, beard, haven't seen anything like that? No. No, I haven't heard anything. Is this one of those you haven't heard anything, or you want me to slip you a little coin? No, I haven't heard anything means I haven't heard anything. Go bother somebody else. I d <laughs> Slim pickings out here, okay. Time for more drinks, as always. There was always a call for celebration. <laughs> Excuse me, you two. I don't mean to interrupt. Hello. Good day. Hello. My name is Sharik. I'm from Nautis. I had a friend who was supposed to be delivering me something. Mm. Oh, I'm, I'm from Nautis as well. I, You're I, from Nautis. Oh, I, was, I, was, I was the announcer for this special event in the arena, you know, oh. around, so, and, and he helped me, he helped I, I, me. I, I got people's got um, attention to the here. arena. We did, we, we spent did, it all we did, alcohol. that we did, that we did. I am looking for a friend of mine, uh, Mr. Otega. He's uh, got an eye yeah. patch, yeah, oh. mutton chops. I don't know if mm. you've seen anything like that around. Mm. Supposed to be here a couple of days ago. I'll be, I'll be, I'll be mm. honest, I, I haven't been looking at much other than my own feet. This bottle and this handsome man over mm. here. <laughs> no, the, the one thing I look at it, the two things is them and the good old warm drink up in the sky. Well, I won't interrupt you any further. <sighs> Thank you for your time, though. Oh, it's, right. no, it's no concern. Have a wonderful good day. day. If you've got time, try the wine mm. here. It's spectacular. Yeah, it's pretty good. Oh, it's so good. Mm. <laughs> Excuse me. Hello. I don't mean to interrupt your reading. I just have a couple of questions, if you don't mind. Hmm. A friend of mine was supposed to be uh, back in Nautis a couple of days ago. I'm a little worried for him, so I decided to come looking. He goes by the name Otega. Has an eye patch. Mutton chops. I don't know if you've seen anyone of that description. Um, he might have come this way. I I'm sorry, I'm basically one of the uh, orderlies. I maintain this place at times. Hmm. But if anyone that would know, I would say the innkeeper would know the best. Um, should be about you somewhere. Hmm. Um... But we'll take a give me his description again, sorry. Eye patch, mutton chops, bit of a beard. Eye patch, mutton chops, bit of a beard. Mm. Not there. Not there either. <laughs> Pretty distinguishable face. You'd know him if you'd seen him. Yes. I, I'm fairly certain he was here for a time, but I don't remember when. I think, again, I was tending to someone here who sure. has night terrors, so. If anyone would know, it would be the innkeeper. He would know who <sighs> travels and all that. Can you um, point me in the direction of where them? he disappeared off to. <clears throat> I I would ask the people outside, but you've seen their current state and condition. Yeah, exactly. There it is. Yeah, There's a good drink. Stay out of the water. Let me see. Um, the coin is. I already given you the coin. Well, how, how many bottles have you had? 
I swear it was just one. Just one. Let me see. He might be upstairs. One very upstairs. long Thank you. tall bottle. Having a good morning. Very good morning. Looks like it. Very good. They have good wine here. Mmm. Mmm. Miss Florentino and I go all the course. No, it is it. Round. Good here. Good drinks. Very good drinks. Mm. Have you mm. seen the innkeeper recently? Mm. Mm, nope. Hmm. We just got here not that long ago. Strange. Just a cross out. Drunk. This is the innkeeper. Most of them are drunk. Mm. I'm stone cold at the moment. Uh, I just have a couple of questions. Oh, if that's thank okay. you. Hello, uh, welcome. <laughs> thank you. Um, sure, that's all right. Um, what can I do for you? I'll make it quick. I am looking for a friend of mine. He goes by the name oh, no. uh, Otega. Uh, you can't Otega. miss him. Has a eye patch, uh, mutton chops. Probably sh he should have been here a couple of days right. ago, and he should have been here earlier today or later yesterday as well. He's a friend of mine. He's gone oh, missing. Oh, well, uh, I see. Well, uh, Mr. Ortega is a uh, regular here. He's a customer, quite normal. Mm. Last time I saw him was about uh, two days ago. Mm. He was with him. He was here for food and quickly left. It seemed like he was in a bit of a rush. Hmm. Was he on his way back to Nortis, or further up north, do you know? Well, oh, I'm trying to remember. He said something about... Right, he said he was on his way to the Triton farmlands. Ah, so north then. Mm. Right. It was, uh... It was, uh, even though he was busy, he tipped very well. Quite unusual. Hmm, that's a little worrying. Well, thank you. I'm going to oh, see if I can uh, catch up to him. I do appreciate it. Here, for your trouble. There's 20 copper. Mm. Mm. Uh, thank you. Um, well, if you find Mr. Ortega, please tell him he has to pay his tab. Maybe <laughs> a regular here, but we do keep track. Understood. Thank you. Blessings be upon you. You're fairly confident she'll wait there. Hello. Yeah, probably still north of here. Apparently he tipped pretty well, which is unlikely for him last time he was here. Did you talk to the innkeeper? Hmm, I did. I'm just going to talk to him a little bit more. There's a gentleman in there, the one that blew you off with the book. He saw him. Oh, really? <clears throat> He's in there right now. You want to talk to him a little bit? Uh. Uh. Oh, come on. Hello. Why else is so would a on. nice person like you lie to a dangerous person like me look look man 
You come in here with, with weapons, asking all sorts of questions. Uh, so why the fuck would you lie to me then? When someone with weapons asks you a question... Look, I, I, I tell you the same thing I, I told your friend. The only thing I know about him was that he came through a couple of days ago. He's supposed to be back. That's all I know. Did he say anything? No, he, he was passing through. He was going north. He was supposed to be back. It was two days ago. That's all I know. But why lie about it? Look, I, 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 don't, I don't know. You guys, you might have started something. I don't know what you... You're here with, with, with these weapons. How am I supposed to know you're not going to start something here, all right? We're only gonna start so something because you've been a fucking me. liar. If you start swimming, no, but then right, we come back and we just... find out that you've lied to us. You really didn't think this through, did you? Look, I I just move the cargo. I don't deal what cargo do you with. Move? Look, whatever the the, car, the they bring in on the carts, man. That's all I do. I take it off the cart and put it inside. That's all I do. I just move shit around. I swear to God. And you have no idea where this guy is, right? He, he left. He passing through, going north. That's all I know. And he, they've been saying he's supposed to be back. Who was saying that? Uh, the, 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 uh, the innkeeper, whatever his fucking name is. Um, look, man, I'm, I'm new here. I, I just started all of this. Hmm. So let's say I find out you've lied to me again. Look, you you whoever the hell was with you already beat the shit out of me and has threatened my life if I was lying to him. I, I get the picture, I swear. I that's all I that know. That wasn't the question. Let's say theoretically we find out you've lied again in any capacity of any of the questions we've asked you. And I get my hands on you. Now, what should I do about it? Look, I don't, I don't know, man. I, 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 I I'm just trying to keep people from from starting stuff. I, I, like I said, if I figured I got you, why well, you wouldn't start anything? Just it wouldn't come back on me. All right, I, I, I. I don't know, I don't know. But the fact that you lied has made this so much more difficult than it needs to be. Do I need to, like, start pulling fingers or something? Is that what you want? Are you into that? Look, you, you two men come in here with these swords and, and all black. You expect me to, and, to just uh, tell you everything, tell you my life story? I mean, do you want to live? Do you like your fingers? All right, let's, let's take it easy there. You, you see what I mean, though. Two armed men come up to me asking questions. You, uh, okay, here's I, what's going to happen. You're going to stop. And the other people. You're going to think really, really hard. Anything about You're, this person. I can assure you, I, I, I already said everything I know, I swear. So... Apparently, Mr. Ortega, who was supposed to go to Coracadus, told the innkeeper he was going to the Trident farmlands. Mm -hmm. Did he tell you that? Yes. Hmm. He wasn't right? alone. Yeah, yeah. He had some guards with him. How do you miss that, man? If I was a lesser man, I would kill you for that misinformation. Do you understand that? If you're going to be a useless bystander, you need to at least have information to give. I'm pretty less. He doesn't have the morals I do. So I'm gonna walk oh, over to the horse, and whatever happens to you, happens to you. Sorry. Oh. Alright, last chance. I'm kidding. Come on. <clears throat> Get your answer and then come back over. Don't kill him. Mm. What's your full name, by the way? To be extra sure you can never get away. I'm gonna ask Lambrick. 
It's Math Matthias. It's it's just Matthias. It's it's that's it. I swear. Just Matthias. So if I go and ask yeah. about Matthias, people know Matthias. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Time to go. I see you soon, Matthias. Arn, since you watch the elf dismount the horse to your right, you look and catch their face for a moment. They seem shaken and wide-eyed. I can hear you panting from halfway across the paddock. Something wrong, miss? A little bit. I was just riding in from the north. I saw, out of nowhere, this giant wolf run across the path with, with an arm dangling from its mouth. I swear the thing was as big as I am. I was tall. My horse spooked, of course. Damn near threw me off. Would have been food for that thing as well. Well, oh. good thing you're alive and made it. I was like someone's been drinking. Getting good at it. <clears throat> All right. Ready. So I guess we're going to go get eaten by wolves, is that it? Just a regular Tuesday for us, I guess. Look, we just need to find this cart and get it back. Well, the problem is... If this is a dire wolf, like it sounds like, not only do we want to avoid fighting it... But the horses would be dead as well. Well, that's why we have this horse. To attach it to the cart. That's one horse, my boy. We'll need more than that. It's That's laden with goods. The prime reason they gave us this was so that we could pull the cart back. Of course. Well, let's hope he's got enough strength to do it. I'm not above throwing the goods off the cart just to bring the cart back. They just want the cart. And Otega, if possible. Hmm, so they don't care about the goods, do they? I mean, if he's... well... I don't know, they did just say just the cart. I'm going to assume they meant just the cart. If Ortega is dead, his goods are free game. Fair enough. We could, uh... Well, we could either take the goods for ourselves or use it to pay off more of our debt. Well, let's see what's on there first. It might just be a bunch of grain for all we know. Coming back from Coracatus? Yeah, probably. What the hell happened here? I don't know, this just makes my hair stand on end. Yeah. <clears throat> I 
haven't been this far north yet. I have once or twice in the last year. Haven't had a reason to go this far any time recently. Hmm. Coming up on the edge of the province. Oh shit. Eyes open, blood on the road. <sighs> Dismount. <coughs> I'll move forward. Stay low in the tall grass. <clears throat> I don't think whoever that belongs to is still alive somehow. No, and there's a cart over there. Other side of the brush. <sighs> I'll continue on the road. Careful. Yeah, there's two of them. Tyler, from this distance, here's what you see. Two wagons, both without horses, or at least it appears as though they're without horses. One certainly doesn't have anything attached to it. Another has some mass slumped in the front of it. At this angle in this distance, that is all you can tell from here. It doesn't seem to be any other signs of life. Now, two carts, at least. Two? Yeah. One of them's without horse. What are we supposed to... <sighs> Does the other one have a horse? Can't tell from here. No. Looks like there's weight on the front, though. Maybe they front-loaded everything. Wait. Someone killed them. I don't think it was wolves. Wolves probably picked at the bodies. To get these carts, they had to be intelligent. Either orcs or bandits. Be careful. We're going to secure the area, and once I'm sure it's secure, I'm going to quickly ride back to the inn. I'm going to lead line another horse here. We're taking both those carts, one of them for ourselves. Okay. Secure the area. I'll stay on the road. as you approach, you can see a scene that Kyler could not because the grass is blocking his view. There's blood everywhere. You see three men looking to be mercenaries roll down the side three of three men that look to be closer to the cart. Two men
blood trail continues that way. Definitely. The blood trail continues. Looks like it. All right, this is what's going to happen. There's crossbow bolts everywhere. This was definitely an ambush. We definitely have dead bandits or brigands and our mercenaries that were guarding the car are dead. Do you see Ortega anywhere? <sighs> Let me have a look. He was with guards, so... To begin to survey all the bodies, none of them quite match the description. But when you search this man, you bump the cart and you hear a <laughs> shift on the inside. There's a bag. Looks like it was pierced by a crossbow bolt. It's leaking something s a fine grain. You reach up and grab it and bring it close. Sniff. <laughs> it's a familiar smell. Maybe you feel the comings on of a certain relaxation. This is spice. You look up and you see that there are quite a few bags and a crate or two pushed up against the back. It's filled to the fucking brim with spice. More spice trade. Yes. Are we sure that this has nothing to do with the Capitano? I have no idea. I haven't heard anything through my whispers about it, but you never know with him. All right, this is what's going to happen. Take inventory of both the carts. Get that carcass rolled out of the way of the other cart. I'm going to ride I'd like hell back to the inn. I'm going to see if there's a spare horse there I can bring on a lead line. We'll hook it up to both the carts. As soon as we do that, we'll go hunt down Ortega. You got it. Don't die. See if there's anything useful on the bodies. God, there's gotta be at least X amount of units of spice here. <sighs> As you search through uh, the other cart, one with the spice. Uh, this cart is decidedly empty. A sign of much of anything. The other cart, however, uh, which you do thoroughly search, mm -hmm. <clears throat> there are ten units of radian spice, at least ten bags. <sighs> but we don't know what's in those crates yet. <sighs> Should probably check those crates before I go looting corpses. As you begin to lift yourself up onto the crate, you step, and there's a sort of unevenness to the cart, and you hear it before you are able to even open the box. Glassware. Hmm. Blinking around, hitting one another. <laughs> you open it. Lots of straw to insulate the area. And a few feeble attempts to hide whatever's in here but you lift the straw up and you see vials and vials of serenity at least ten by your count Maybe just a taste. How bad can it be? Such a rush before. What was Kyla's last estimated value of a unit of Serenity? It's been a while, but. The last estimated value? Let's see if you can remember. 
It's been a long, long time. And whenever you paid for it, you were probably not paying full price. Maybe it's because you stole it. Maybe it's because you knew someone with a good deal. Maybe it's because the drug-addled brain that brought you out of that situation doesn't want to go back and remember. With four, you know it's at least a few silver. Chat, roll a d20. Vial. No more than five, no less than two. But you're not sure exactly. And that was ten vials, you said? By your count, ten vials and ten bags of spice. Let's move this fucking corpse out of the way. I mean, you're not particularly strong, are you? <laughs> no, he's not. <laughs> With a 16, it is... Wait, do you have a detriment for strength? I don't recall. He has a detriment for grapples. If you would consider this a grapple, by grapples. all means. <laughs> uh, I don't agree that mean. With a 16... You're able to get the harness off, all the other things, and it's going downhill. It's a lot of weight. Don't get me wrong. A lot of weight. And it's dead weight, so it's even heavier. Plus, the smell is awful. Everything here has been here for at least a couple days by your estimation. You're not really sure how old the bodies are, but there's flies everywhere. And, and scavengers have already gotten to them, so they've had They smelled bad on the ass side. <laughs> Come on, you son of a you're able to get the harness off, the reins off, and it looks like you'd be able to hitch another horse onto this. But luckily, you won't have to move the whole corpse, uh. because you doing that on your own is nigh, nigh impossible. <laughs> but you do have to reach into some uncomfortable positions to get the whole harness off, and your hands end up filled with congealed blood and viscera. <laughs> Yeah. <sighs> All right, what do you have on you? <clears throat> Moving over to the bodies. <clears throat> the armor is somewhat dented. You know, it would take quite a while to get all of it off of these corpses, uh, but they do have weapons on them as well. Each of these men have an iron sword, at the very least. You do find a broken crossbow underneath one of them. Seems like he fell on it. The other men, and the bandits, as you appear, to th as they appear, their armor is wouldn't be worth much. But again, they have some weapons. All iron, however. Nothing too fancy, too expensive. <sighs> Here's something you would be familiar with, Kyla. That's a lot. Spice and serenity. And as you look around the area, I don't seem to think it was an ambush. I'm not so sure. There, there are a lot of crossbow bolts, but not more than could be fired by three challenges. But all the spice. With all these people, when you search their bodies, you didn't find any money. Why isn't there any money? This is a deal gone bad. Should be money. Is that why it went bad? Where's Ortega? On. Yes. Come here.
tosses you a vial of serenity. Shit. Fuck. It's ten of them and ten spice. You said ambush. We're in the middle of the snow. There's no money on these bodies. This looks like a deal gone bad, if you ask me. But that raises the question of where Otavia is. With who? Is. Between who? I don't know. We need to find him. Yeah. Both the horses are hooked up. I've kept the screws to the bridle so nobody can take off without us, in the very least. We have that going for us. Put this back. <laughs> what do we do with it? I don't know. We'll figure it out. Let's find Ortega first. I have a feeling we have to move fast. <sighs> After you. I'll stay in the main path. down through the blood it seems just as old as everything else over there and speaking of Arn, you would be familiar with the fact that these bodies have been here for some time they've already attracted flies started to rot and scavengers this didn't just happen these things have been here for a little while a few days maybe which way this way keep an eye out might be walking into something. The trail dealer veers off the path as the grass glitters and it's red. And you look up to the base of the tree at the top of the hill. You see. As you near this body, it doesn't seem as old as the other ones. There are flies, but it's not as rancid. The blood not as congealed. It doesn't look like he's been picked at by scavengers left. It seems like he died a little while after. You see a bolt in his stomach. That's the you guy. also see his eye patch and beard. In his lap sits a heavy looking out you lift it up and it is hefty your hand goes up to the wine loosens it and you open silver Lots of silver. That's serenity for you. <laughs> Take on. How much silver is it? Quickly looking through the bag. Quick estimates, Arn, as just from the, the weight and just how much is in there, you would say roughly around 70 to 80. There's as much as 80 silver in here. That roughly lines up with the street prices for that sort of stuff. Yeah. I'd definitely say this was a deal gone bad. Well, find out if there's anything else on him. Anything that points to the Capitano or anything we have to cover our tracks with. I should mention those, those bodies, if you didn't notice, they're beginning to rot. This happened days ago. No one has known or dug into it, which means it's been buried. Hmm. If it's been known about and buried, then... Why has no one come for the goods? Maybe because if anyone started asking questions, their cover would be blown. That's why I think <clears throat> the Capitano might be involved. Well, let's see if he has any implications on him. Remember, they have a man in the Merchant's Guild. That is true. This might be connected. I don't know. This might be where the uh, dead drop stuff is going to as well. If I can find a note that matches Shit. similar. You search through the man. Doesn't have anything on him. Apart from that silver, there's 
few notes about time to meet and such, but that's a, those dates have passed. It looks like he was meant to bring it back into town, <clears throat> but it doesn't say what he planned to do with it after that. Well, this was going to Nautus. Not, no idea what for, though. Yeah. The money or the goods? I don't know. Here's what I'm thinking. <laughs> you said that you had discovered that the Capitano is dealing Serenity at the f Free Wharf, Coricadas. Correct. He rented wagons to go to Coricadas. Mm. And now we find Serenity? It never left the <clears throat> province, I don't think. It meant to go to Coricadas, but it never left the bloody province. Who intercepted it? He was going to drop it off for someone else. Here. Yeah. Maybe he sold it when he wasn't supposed to. Okay. Maybe it's not two parties, Severed up. Maybe it's not two <laughs> parties, Sharik. It's entirely possible it's three. Great. There was a third party who got the drop on them. If they got the drop on them, they didn't take so this... the, the money or the goods. One, em one wagon was empty, one was loaded for bear. They were going to transfer the goods in exchange for the money. They have to have. He obviously ran. Right. It's obvious that he ran for his life. It was easy to find him. They didn't pursue him. Too busy fighting each other, maybe? It's possible. But who would have intervened? <clears throat> Are they rolling? The nine... You're not sure what to make of this on. With the two, you're even less certain. I, I will say this. In these deal, deals gone wrong scenario, you've seen a few of these yourself. You've been in a few of these yourself. There's usually a last man standing at the end of it all. <clears throat> And it seems like he could only take what he would carry with him. Okay. Two parties come together, they meet, they're to exchange goods, it goes bad, they fight each other. Not everyone dies, right? There's always someone who limps or walks away. And especially if he's wounded and both horses are down, he couldn't take the goods in the wagon, right? So he grabs a sack of the, con the money and doesn't get as far as he hopes he could. I don't know who it would be between them. And everyone who knew about this deal is dead. Which would explain why no one came them. looking. High levels would just assume it went through fine. I think it's time for you to snoop in that dead drop later tonight. Okay. See if there's anything new. We're taking the wagons, we're taking the coin. We will return the wagon, and I will drop off the second one with them and explain to Hala I need it repainted to look different. And ask them to put in the books that we have owned this for some time. However, what do we do with everything else? Moving that kind of stuff, even trying to resell it now would raise a lot of eyebrows, even in smaller circles. And to put it, hide it, hide it, because if we cannot prove what the Capitan was done, we can frame him. Okay. He is guilty anyway. And while this is not the way I like to do things, I have a feeling but if anyone finds out that we're on to him before we are able to act, we're all going to die. Okay. Where, though? I have a few spots, but they're in the actual town itself. It would look suspicious moving big crates like that. 
When we enter town, those wagons have to be empty. Yeah. If we'd find somewhere in the woods. The one place no one would look. The Temple of Asara. I've not been there. Come on. I guess you're about to learn how to drive a cart. Oh, God. <clears throat> now there, as you begin to walk back, you glance at the pouch hanging from Arn's belt. You know he needs that money. You know keeping the serenity is dangerous, but it could be beneficial. One thing shoots through your mind, crystal clear. Whoever was selling this, whoever was buying it, other than the one who's dead, this was no small price. This is not the end of this. I can't overstate this is a big move. What they're doing, this amount and Ten units of serenity and spice. Even in my circles, that's notable. I trust your judgment. What should we expect? Eventually, someone will come looking for it. They have to. Then we have it lead to somewhere that will be beneficial to us. It's fine by me. If you're comfortable with this hiding place, then... My thought is this. The temple to Asara, there will be pilgrims that come and go, but I doubt that if we dug a hole somewhere and dumped the shit in and covered it, anyone would stumble across it. If you can think of somewhere better, I'm open to it. No, it's good. The people it would that, not look weird for us to travel there. The people that would be going to there wouldn't want to desecrate the shrine or anything like that, so they probably wouldn't touch much anyway. Well, if Asara exists, I hope she forgives me. Huh. Back in Korakatus, they used to have little uh, shrines popped up to the various gods that people believed in. We used those for dead drops all the time because we knew people wouldn't touch them. Superstitious or whatever. You look at Arn as he begins to hook the horses, make sure everything is tight. You look at the wagons peppered with crossbow bolts, you look at the bodies on the ground. You look at the blood soaking into the dirt. There's so much under your feet, it's almost like mud in certain places. This was a big move for some people, but they're dead now. It's an even bigger move for you. Maybe it'll be all right. Arn <sighs> seems fairly sure of himself, at least. What I'm good at, I can do this. <sighs> right. <clears throat> so, um, just the same thing with the, the reins. Pull to stop and turn and all that jazz. It's a lot easier with a cart. DM that horse is gone. It's a lot easier with the cart. Now. Obviously you sit up the top. You have the reins. Because of the way the things are set up, you're able to just pull in the direction you want to go. Pull left, turn left. Pull right, go right. If you want them to go faster, you slap the reins down. Ah! There'll be a light little slap. Right. I'll piss him off and he'll run faster. <clears throat> if you want them to stop, 
You pull back. Don't yank. You'll upset the horse. You pull back. You go, whoa. Slow down. Let them hear your voice. A little bit. Okay. You'll be all right. This is actually easier than riding a horse. Good. Um... No, the money pouch! I forgot! <laughs> Accursed thing! I told you not to deal in spice! I didn't listen, and I'm sorry. Okay. Whoa! If it looks like we get stopped, let me do the talking. That doesn't guarantee we'll get away, but I'll try. Okay. Let's move quickly before any patrols come. <sighs> oh, that's how you turn. <laughs> Demon.
Down there. Thanks for me. Let's do it quickly before anyone comes. How do I uh leave? There is a button somewhere here by the middle. Oh, got Click. it. Yay. All right. Grab a crate. I need to fix my headset. <sighs> Also, I loaded uh, that card up with the weapons from those uh, bandits, by the way. Just iron, nothing steel or anything. Good. What do we tell the uh, Carter's Guild? I trust Hala. I'm going to tell her everything. We need someone on the inside who's going to cover our tracks and be able to forge the fact that we've owned this cart for a while. <clears throat> All right. Where's a good spot? This corner. Wow. Surprised there's not Serendi stashed in here already. and dirt before we leave. Get right. the last crate, hurry. It's a really good spot. <laughs> Just to be clear, that's all the spice and serenity, yes? Yes. Start tossing some rocks down here. Quick. Kyla, glancing toward the wagons, you see two figures walking. People near the wagons. Whew. Get close, find out what's going on. I'll finish here. Help you. We just came from the temple. Um, ah, blessings. There's two cars from the motor. Thank you. 
Yeah, we were, um, my compadre and I were on our way to uh, pay our respects and we had to uh, stop to, you know. How was the temple today? Well, um, peaceful. Good. It's my, uh, my first time, I... Huh? Eh. Something, isn't it? I think I might have found what I was looking for. It's good you feel... closer, you know? More connected. Some place yeah. where you can just let go. It's good. Everything else just kind of drips away. That's why we're on our way there now, actually. Yeah. It's, you know, you spend your time yeah. working with deals and trades and stuff, and sometimes you just need Osira to just relax you for a bit. Let loose. Yeah. Calms the heart a bit. Mm-hmm. I'm glad you found what you're looking for. Yeah, well, there should be a priest back over there. Mm. And, um, you're not gonna find any trouble there, just peace. It's good, I have questions. I, you know, a little turbulent in the soul. Well, we all find our answers someday. Mm. You've answered a lot of mine today. I, uh, I hope you find what you're looking for. Thank you. Blessings upon you. I'm not going to keep Likewise. you any longer, sorry. I just saw two wagons in the road unattended. Fool still thinks he can convert me. You just need to sit there and I'm feel it. I'm giving him a chance. Him a chance. We're going. Yeah. We're going anywhere. Well, Give it a chance. We'll be on our way. You see? You see? I told you. Believe. Going. Push it in and covered it. Anyone would stumble across it. A bat. Disintegrate. Going. Push it in and covered it. Anyone would stumble across it. A bat. Disintegrate. Going. Shit in and covered it. Anyone would stumble across it. A bat. Disintegrate! Going. The shit in and covered it. Anyone would stumble across it. A bat. Disintegrate! Going. The shit in and covered it. Anyone would stumble across it. A bat. Disintegrate! Going. Shit in and covered it. Anyone would stumble across it. A bat. Disintegrate! Going. The shit in and covered it. Anyone would stumble across it. A bat. Disintegrate! Going. The shit in and covered it. Anyone would stumble across it. A bat. Disintegrate! Going. Shit in and covered it. Anyone would stumble across it. A bat. Disintegrate! Going. <coughs> Fuck me. <coughs> He's spamming spells. <laughs> Disintegrate. <laughs> That's gonna be in my head for a long time, I think. <laughs> Disintegrate. He killed me with the fucking magic plot.
This is what yeah, this is what happens when you go into fucking drugs. <clears throat> to be on, I know, I know. The fuck is too powerful. What did you do to me? You disintegrated oh, me. The, the sea life is so beautiful. <laughs> None of you see this. You see a smashed file on the ground, Kyra, and assume the worst that they're riding, riding the lightning. I see. We've all been there. This is. This is far better than I'm a waterbender. Yes, yes, Dad. Of course you are. Nice to meet you, random citizen. My name is Lord Arnold Thurdar. How are you? <laughs> and I'm Kyla Blint. You might know me from such places as Blackrock. He's wanted in Wazer Harbor. <laughs> Alright, snap out of it. Place of peace. Snap out of it! The bomb should be over by now. It's a temporary buff. You'll never be the same. The depression is much harder oh, than before. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I forgot about that part. Admittedly, I wasn't thinking. Have you got any more of that? Get over here, goddammit. <laughs> Congratulations, Lord Ernar Fernard. You've perpetuated opiate addiction. <clears throat> oh my god, fuck you. It's a means to an end. I need money! <laughs> I, I haven't got any money. Alright. <laughs> I'm gonna pause. When I unpause, none of this happened. Then you roll the cards up. <laughs> Three, two, one. Anyway, it was nice meeting you. I hope you find what you need. Same unto you both. Mm. Blessings. Thank you. Blessings. Well, we best continue on our way. It's a long That's road. That's what you do about to be. Yeah, true. Sorry, friend. There's this woman. Please stop. Don't you worry, friend. All right. Let's head back. Got it. <clears throat> uh, to notice. Yes. We'll have to go in through the dark gate. Right. <sighs> Actually... As much as I hate it... might be best for us to cut through the farms and in doing so uh, you gotta be straight when you turn oh let's see um we drive past the carvers go to the docks I'll uh, follow you Too worried about all the crossbow bolts and the paint and stuff. 
Listen, it was a recovery for the Goddess Guild. No one should be asking <clears throat> any questions. Good. It's official business. Believe me. Oh, you fucking shitting me. I got it. Nights on fire. Do 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 do.
Ow. My head. <laughs> Fuck you! There you go. Ah! <laughs> Shriek. You, you fucking wrap the car. <laughs> Hey, um, Frenchie. Fucking hell. Yeah. We drove right past the Capitano at the front gate. <clears throat> Understood. If that has any prevalence. Come on, let's go turn this in. Carter's guild work. Um, that's all. Uh, all right. I won't say anything else much from that. Uh, you two all right? Yeah, we're fine. Ah. Uh. All right, then. I won't focus too much on that. Then I'll let you two do what you need to do, then. Thank you, my friend. Sorry, is Kaz actually here? Front gate. Or somebody who... yeah. Uh. This is what I was looking for, so nice. <laughs> she was at the front gate. Should have shut the door behind us. We have a big fucking problem. I can tell. What is it? We recovered the cart. However, I need everything that you have on this man that got this cart from you. The carts that we found, there were two. The one that he got from you was full of spice and serenity. It looked it was at the site of some sort of deal. There were people killed on both sides, both mercenaries, the man who rented it from you is confirmed dead. And bandits. However, things that I've told you about the Capitano, he might have a hand in this. It cannot find its way back to us. It cannot. It won't. If anything, it will go for me. I have promised you this. You said spice and serenity. It refined into serenity, yes. The product is gone, it will be destroyed. No risking that. I did not know that <clears throat> Ortega ever had dealings with this any time. But I believe you. He was known for moving money, large amounts of it, between parties. Something was really good at. That's not so common skill. I'm curious. Do we have any idea what I'm part is? It could be anything from nobles to anything. Not specifically, I can only guess. But if there was a deal that was occurring for what you are saying, the spice and serenity, there has to be a considerable amount of money gold. I'm not going to hide it from you, found 80 silver there. He did. Okay, um, the cards, um, I'll take care of the one. They parked on the docks. Okay, um, we own the own one. That's um, where I wish to ask you a favor. I could use a cart to move goods. Here.
Don't worry, just hear my thinking where I am. I really want this. How long would this be? You've had it, but let's say it was damaged for some time. Recently, Carter's Guild managed to get it repaired for you, so... In the last year or so, it would work. Okay. Was there a horse with it, or...? I had to rent a horse from the... Cross Keys Inn. Cost me five silver. They're expecting the horse back. You can return it, um... I could probably have a horse on land. Let's simply say it is a mutual beneficiary between the two of us, a partnership. A sort of... I'll... I can bring the horse back overnight if you prefer. No, no, no. It would draw too much attention to have it moving back and forth. You simply... Oh, the the cards are full of crossbow bolts and blood and they're sitting on the docks. I understand that is how that happens, but it is a Carter's Guild issue. You did a job for us. We will refurbish, remake them. And right. um, if you have anything that uh, signifies your pulps, you'll need it so I can put it on the cart as a mark of ownership. Unfortunately, that may not be a good idea. I can't explain that. Mm. But my maker's mark from my blacksmithery might do. That will work, because then it would be part of the smith. Very well. I was considering the writing this off uh, your debt uh, 15 silver. But considering everything you have found, I am willing to be open here. There's another 15. <laughs> your debt is sealed and shut. The paper Thank will you. be put through as necessary. And the card will be remade, redone, and it belongs to you. Now, I will say this. If there is any reason that you need it to disappear for a day or two, no questions asked. Sometimes my watchers are <coughs> drunk. Very well. Even if the debt is sealed, Holla, if you need help, you've been a good friend to us. Let me know. Let him know. If there is anything else you need, any places to hide things, I know that this stuff moving through is not easy. But not yet. Can't... Everything seems to be quiet. I have to keep our ears to the ground, though. If the guards tell the Capitano about these cards, that paperwork has to be done, just in case. Yes. Fortunately, um... Like I said, some of these books are not for reading. Mm. Very well. Thank you. I want sure. to get out of here faster. <laughs> you were seen entering in that way. It would be best if you left the same way. Otherwise, if you're well. being pursued, there's that door. Understood. We'll go the same way. I'll take care of the paperwork from here. <laughs> <laughs> How much shall I add to our sheet? Whatever 80 minus 15 is, it'd be 75. I'll add 75 to our sheet then. Come on. Chat, do maths. Sure no one's staring at the cards and then we'll break away. You consider as you mull this over in your head, are you playing to win? Or are you just trying to survive until the end of the game? We need to talk. What? 
when you get a chance, we need to all talk. I don't have time right now. Oh, fuck. Long story short, the, the, the rubber bird lied to me. Really? He said that. He said that the, the Major and all of his lieutenants would be there. Thinking back on it, it was just the Major and his inner circle. His lieutenants were not there. What are you fucking talking one, about? One gold, 26 silver, Should plus... Should the rest, I suppose, later? 75 silver. What kind of cryptic ass shit? <clears throat> Greetings, Blacksmith. soldier. Blacksmith, you're coming with to us. come with us to the Capitano. For what? Why you came in on bloodied carts? We'll be... We'll be the Carter's one Guild ones business. asking the questions, Blacksmith. I don't think you will. I work for the Carter's Guild. It's Carter Guild work. You can talk to the representative from the Carter's Guild. This Until a, then, uh, you can go fuck yourself. Important matter, Blacksmith. I suggest As you I come said, to the Capitano. Capitano's orders are Capitano's orders. It's like it's being dealt with now, actually. As I said, you can speak to the woman right there who owns the carts. We were sent to recover them from someone who did not come back. Let's go. Let's go, Sergeant. Make yourself scarce now. Understood. Again, you can use yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. my very private upstairs room. Then okay. me Crazy. You got lots of weight. Everything okay here? Absolute you? amounts of weight. Lots of it. Hello, yeah, Sheree. Welcome to shopping spree. Just finished. Mind if I tag along? Just finishing up shopping. How are you doing? Oh, of course. Absolutely. I'd love to walk with all of you. <laughs> You're my they favorite trial, mm -hmm. so of course you can tag along. I love being a woman sometimes. The bathhouse. Every piece of my body screams at it. Oh my god. god. Oh my god. Assist. Yeah, oh, <laughs> fuck me. <laughs> oh, no, you're going to have to take the long way Today, around. How sad. Too. There's no long way around. Oh, We're going Hurry up, Argo. Yeah. Hurry up. Oh, Come on. What are they carrying anyway? Ah, uh, they're carrying jewelry and boots Lots of things. and dresses and foods and wines and all sorts of other fun things. I totally didn't have one, two, three. Six men carry so much stuff. Sergeant, I'm gonna shit. I'm gonna shit. I'm gonna shit. I'm very constipated. How are you doing, Sharik? It's been a busy day. very, very I'm getting very constipated. Good busy or bad busy? Yeah, you know how it is. Hey, I'm buying you a new outfit. All right. But if you want to talk about it later, feel free to come find me. Sure. Please get the door. Please get the door. You guys were Please shopping. Get the door. You can go next, and then I can wait. Uh, yes. Right. After you. Oh. Yes. Yes. Sir. But more of Basil was shopping. You have them put them upstairs so no one steals any. What is this? Uh, Knew it! I knew it! That is why I have carried it! Constipation <laughs> sucks. Oh, oh. Fuck sucks. Oh. Oh. There we go. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, and this way. I think the imp was carrying that. Yeah, I'm gonna go give it back to him. 
power game pickpockets. Wow. Here, Shriek, take it. <laughs> you son of a bitch, you did take it. <laughs> Give me that back. <laughs> I can't believe it. How is your sweetened hard tack? I'm not sure. Are you good? I think I know which one North it is. One? Uh, mm. Either way, I'm gonna head right on over to the uh, other sure. Let Basil know that I'm gonna be right on over there. I'm gonna be a little bit busy with those sort of talk. Hi. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. Very sweet. Mm. Very fucking bad. Mm -hmm. I know. Thank you, Shriek. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm. <clears throat> What about you guys? What have you guys been up to today? Been busy? I'll let you two talk. Oh, uh, we've just been shopping. Mm. Cutting wood, shopping. Day. Did you see my new helmet? No, I didn't. <clears throat> oh, you saw it on the mission, but... Nope. It's here. <laughs> Ooh. It's like a bear. Yeah, I gave Morden the bear skull to use his modeling in... It is a bit dwarven, but I like it. Plus, I can headbutt someone with it. Mm -hmm. That would really hurt. Mm -hmm. I need to duck in here real quick, and I'll be right out in like two sure. or three minutes. Sure. <clears throat> All right, be right back, chat. I heard you open the door from there, the stairwell. <laughs> what's up? Something on your mind? Nothing. I just want to know what's going on. The Capitano grabbing Sanders. And now there's this mysterious letter that they're sharing between each other. I'm a little worried. Hmm. Shriek stepped into one of the side rooms. He went into one of the back rooms and then... Yeah. He'll be back in a couple minutes. Then I shall sit here for a moment because I need to sit down. I am ah, sweating. Makes two my house is uh, so hot. I'm <clears throat> an experience. I'm not used to um, <laughs> that sort of... 